This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to the new episode of FFPU. My name is Paul and this is the 30th of September 2016 and we are recording the 13th episode and the last episode made in the US and I have a very special guest with me. Hi, I'm Andrea Hogan. I manage the comedy studio in Harvard Square in Cambridge. Yes, that's where we met actually and thank you for coming and thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's been it's a it's a pleasure. This is this is amazing. Um, yeah, so we watched the second episode, technically the second episode yeah. of Commissar Rex, a world famous Austrian crime procedural. I feel like I'm so cultured now. Yes, are you? Yes, yes. are you? Because, okay, so, so what, you, you didn't have any idea what, what it was going on. The only thing that I said was it's going to be about Austrian movies and TV shows. Yes. So what is, like, what is your, what, what do you know about Austrian movies and TVs, like TV shows? Like what? Absolutely nothing. So basically Arnie, yeah. Christoph Waltz. Yeah. That's it, basically, right? Yes, I and, know. And the maybe some, 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 some very sad... Uh, <laughs> Some very sad Nazi movies, maybe. No, I don't not even, even know, that. No, not too depressing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We we make them very depressing. Yes. That's that's like our forte. Well, they're very <laughs> accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, you know. Yeah. I and really like those happy-go-lucky Nazi movies that we make <laughs> here in America. Oh, like like Sound of Music. Yes. Or or uh, 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 Casablanca. Yeah. Yeah, those are with a happy end, but. Yeah. But in the background, there's like <laughs> millions of people die, and they're like, yes, but this one family, <laughs> they made it out. The Austrian movies is like, okay, yes, this one family made it out, maybe, but the rest, they are fuck. <laughs> so this is a total departure from that. Yes. I guess. Yes. Okay. So I don't think there was any Nazis in this episode, except for that doctor. <laughs> oh yeah. So. <laughs> Right, I totally forgot about him because How he only he only showed up in the last in like first ten minutes. You Austrians are great at forgetting about Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> so so the, the show is Commissar Rex. This episode is from 1994. Great year. Yeah. Amazing year. I was eight years old. Yes, I was six. So now. Yeah, yeah. I probably saw that episode maybe when I was eight or something like that as a rerun <laughs> but that's it that's like my my knowledge of Commissar Rex is a bit limited compared to other Austrians okay. because this show was huge bigger than home improvement Big <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's that's hard to say because <laughs> home improvement was aired uh, normally uh, before eight o'clock like at 1930 Okay. Uh, 19 like at 7 p.m. that was normally the time slot for for home improvement uh -huh. and commissar rex was prime time oh, like right. they got the the 8 p.m. slot yeah that's that's like right okay. after the right after the news it's commissar rex okay. so i guess they <laughs> they had a bigger viewership just because All of right. that yeah and it was again really huge got sy syndicated that's the word got yes. syndicated in a whole bunch of countries and got an Italian spin-off show, which is still <laughs> hilarious to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Commissar Rex! Yeah. Does Rex just steal pasta? In <laughs> <that one? laughs> I don't know yet. I have to. I have to. I have to look that up because it, the the, be the best thing is the main guy's name, the main actor's name is Tobias Moretti. So he even has a last. His last name, even though he's Austrian, he has an Italian last <laughs> name. So that I can I kind of maybe that's like the, the logical jump. Like, yeah, yeah, let's just do it in Italy. It's, it's Why not? It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, all right, let's move on to the first point of business. Okay. And that's plot. <laughs> Don't I laugh, I'm going to fix that in post. All right. <laughs> yeah. I was mostly laughing because I wasn't sure there was a plot. There was a plot. <laughs> Yeah, please, please uh, elaborate. 
So it is a murder. There was a well, not, not only there one. was a heart attack. Yes, exactly. But we are amazingly men- acted out. Yes. Someone had a heart attack in a microwave. Not in a microwave. <laughs> in a microwave. He had just opened. He oh, fell yes. into the microwave. Right, and then he fell back. Yeah. And then it took you like almost as long as it took them on the show to figure out the microwave. Yeah, you were way, you way faster. At, like at that, like this. As soon as they said that it was a pa- that he had a pacemaker, you're like, yeah. yep, no, no, it was the, the microwave. microwave. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Again, 94, that was cutting edge back then. <laughs> the microwave, maybe. I know. Like, microwaves didn't, weren't a big thing in Austria well, until that, the 90s. That's why I assumed it was the microwave. Like they're, ah, okay. they're not going to buy a microwave for this show just to have it have nothing to do with the guy <laughs> dying. Oh, it's like a Pavlov's, no, not Pavlov's, <laughs> Chekhov's gun? Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. it's Chekhov's microwave. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If it didn't kill you in the se- until the second act, you're doing something wrong. Exactly. Chekhov's microwave. Yes. Yeah, it's the modern version. <laughs> so it, it plays in a in a tavern, in a very typical Austrian tavern okay. that that mostly serves like really fat food and a lot of wine. That's that's like a very typical Austrian place to hang out. All right. Yeah, and they. But they are a bit overdressed. The staff. I was going to ask yeah. if everyone was usually required to wear a puffy pirate shirt <laughs> and a corset to it's work. A, oh, it's a dindle. That's a, a, <laughs> the dindle is a classical South German and Austrian garb. Okay. So that's very traditional. Okay. Nowadays, that's only like on high holidays okay. that celebrate some kind of weird Austrian thing, then you normally wear that. All right. But otherwise, it's not, it's not a really a thing anymore. Maybe in the 90s more, like it's 20, like that's 22 years ago now. Oh God, I yeah. feel so old. Yeah, me too. But still, you know, that's, that's oh, 22 is years. Is Rex dead? Rex has oh, to be Rex dead is, by now. I think they went through like three or four dogs <laughs> during the show. Like they, they burned those dogs. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, stunt doubles didn't exist back then. <laughs> like, the dog just jumped into like a wood chip or something. <laughs> no Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't show that, you know. <laughs> it's Rex too now. He has a weird spot on his head. <laughs> well, that's that's. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get bad comments for that for yeah. in- insinuating that a dog dies. <laughs> Yeah, but but yeah, you, that you, dog is dead what, now. Y- insinuating. Yes. Because you just said incinerating. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Which I, is yeah, kind of what you yeah. were implying. Yeah, the burning the dog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incinerating the dog. Yes, <laughs> I did it. I did it. I I, I confess, I burned the dog. Um, <laughs> so yeah, come is, so that one guy dies, and during the autopsy, which that plot point wouldn't hold up today anymore. It wouldn't? No, because um, if there's no clear sign of external force, they don't do an autopsy anymore. Oh, it's okay. just, they just put him in the ground of, like, actually incinerate him. Like, <laughs> like that's what you normally de- do nowadays. Okay. Because the Austrian government had cutbacks with the coroners, uh, with the coroners, so they don't do those things anymore, which is, I think, a bad bad idea in general I, I really? think it, no it's it's like okay so first of all uh, organ transplant like uh, organ organ donation, donation yeah. is an opt out thing rather than an opt in so everybody's an organ donor oh that's not until, good at all until you opt out that's not good at that's all that's great we have so many kidneys laying around <laughs> That's good. I, kn- I know a few nurses, and you're, they're not allowed to say this, but in America, if you're an organ donor, they don't try nearly as hard to save you. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not, it's most, it's mostly like motorcycle guys who donate, basically, in Austria. Okay. Just because they are, like, smeared on the pavement, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway from, from the look of, looks of it. Like, he's already mush, so... <laughs> Let's harvest, uh, harvest right, him. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> He's already ugly. Let's just 
doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, ugly people don't matter when so, they're no, alive. But, but I guess, you know, it, because there is an organ shortage in the US. Yes. And we don't have that, like, that level of shortage. Yeah. I guess that's why maybe okay. maybe they don't try as hard here as they yeah. do in my country. Oh, yeah. I, maybe that's the reason. It, it's opt-in here. And yeah. I, I opted in when I turned 18 and then a few years later is like no this is a terrible idea yeah <laughs> i i never opted out i i'm i'm staying my course as a as an organ donor do you have a motorcycle nope oh, you're i have a bicycle <laughs> <laughs> you're way more then. dangerous <laughs> in, in the city <laughs> because i'm never gonna kill anybody with my, mo with my bicycle <laughs> but i'm definitely getting killed when a car crashes into me all right yeah. well so let's go back to the <laughs> uh, okay fine yes All so right. the guy <laughs> dies they yeah. find out during the autopsy that um His he pacemaker had uh, the crust on the wires yeah exactly yeah it was burned yes and and dr hitler yes <laughs> dr. Hitler. <laughs> dr hitler was like "Ooh, <laughs> this this is strange <laughs> i haven't seen this since i electrocuted my cat <laughs> would never do that he was a dog lover not a cat lover he's still a vegetarian yeah but that doesn't mean that he didn't torture <laughs> animals why would he bother with that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, i guess so, yeah <laughs> Ooh, dark topic so um <laughs> back to microwaves yes microwaves so so they find out that the, like they, they they get uh uh, Moser, who's the detective, yes. uh, to investigate the case, even though his, it's his day off. It is his day off. And his sick day at the same time, because well, he I, wanted to go to the doctor. I think so. He did look really into that guy touching him when he was being examined. Right. I think he that just... Was, that was weird. It was weird. Yeah. So anyway, the coroner, so the coroner invested, like... They, they get him into the office basically yeah. and they that uh, so like to save time he's like coroner just check me you're gonna be happy to check a living person instead yes. of a dead one and he's like okay and then he grabs him and like he was cradling his head i weird. think he really wanted to touch his hair Wait, yeah i don't blame him oh yeah that that hair is super Herb. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 model hair right there. Yeah. yeah. That hair could have its own show. Oh yeah, it, that probably has. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> somewhere in, in Austrian TV they probably made a, a Tobias Moretti hair show. Probably. They should have just put his hair on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have just you know, that would have that there wouldn't be any other shows anymore. They would just I air that twenty four hours a day. <laughs> that's 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 all the entertainment that you need then. I know. Yeah. So well, it would have been genius. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. Yeah. I should have worked in TV when yeah, I was in eight. The, yeah. <laughs> and gone to Austria to do it. I'd be a millionaire. We have this American executive. <laughs> she's eight years old and she's amazing. <laughs> she has the best ideas. She has one idea, <laughs> but it's the last one. <laughs> yeah, we don't we need anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, he investigates the, the, the staff and the relatives because he was the boss of the tavern. Yes. And he fucked his brother's wife uh, his brother's wife exactly yes in the cellar in the classic cellar. austrian move is it well we have some history with cellars <laughs> <laughs> like basement is the basement is not if you want to uh know more about basement uh, <laughs> look no further than the 11th i think the 11th episode which is in the base the movie <laughs> movie documentary in the basement which is all about austrian basements all also right. on netflix america really good movie all it right. has only one star on netflix <laughs> but it's amazing it's a really good documentary all right yeah it's just so weird that the americans just apparently got weirded out and just ga gave it one star i'm <laughs> watching that as soon as i get home very good excellent <laughs> so uh um <laughs> so there are some suspects yes so it could could be everyone in the show including the staff yes like the, the 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 one of the staff members has a criminal record which is yes. a rare thing in austria especially for 
bodily harm like he, he was what, yeah. what's it called here uh assault I don't yeah know. yeah assault. i guess assault multiple assaults yes That's, uh, multiple assaults physical assaults yes yes he wasn't and he had the face for it and the hair he he looked like a criminal Yes. Like that's those the, damn the, balding pudgy criminals. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Worst he, one. <laughs> Worst one. Yes. He looks like he spends a lot of time on the couch, but for some reason, it yeah, he's still well. <laughs> and <laughs> nothing good on TV. I want this talk show with the hair of Tobias Moretti. I have to beat up somebody now. <laughs> that's how angry I get. Um, yes, and and. Um, so everybody is a suspect, and they. What What's the next thing that they try? They. Oh, there's actually a murder before they even get to any conclusions, right? It, it, did she get. No, because he goes in. Yes, he steals goes the in. microwave. Well, no, he goes oh. in to look in the kitchen. Right. And the wife throws him out. Right. And then he goes back the next day when they're closed and just takes the microwave. Right. And she yells at him. Right. And then they hug a microwave for about five minutes. While they flirt. Yes. While talking about her husband's demise. Yes. Which is one of the best scenes ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> that, that one was amazingly done. Just because it's so awkward. <laughs> but she didn't find it awkward at all. No, because was she was looking at that hair. Yeah. She was looking at that hair and that yeah. face. And she's like, just like lost in his dreamy landscape of a man <laughs> no he's he's yes definitely certifiably handsome oh yeah yeah i mean mostly the hair but yeah. definitely the rest of him too yeah exactly <laughs> he, and he shaves without having a beard yeah I think like he, in the first scene he has shaving cream on his face and he wipes it off and, and there's a the fresh face <laughs> underneath like why are you even that's <laughs> I think he just had whipped cream on his yeah. face yeah, 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 that he was like, looking off. He was like in the middle of a really weird sex act and yeah. he's like, oh, damn dog. Is <laughs> the damn dog that goes shopping. Yes, he, the, the do- right in the first scene, the dog goes shopping. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Oh, that right, was right after the in, Also the in a guy very good bakery in, in Yes. Yes. Right after the guy dies, they cut to a dog shopping. With really jo- jovial music in the background. Yes. <laughs> Always when the dog, like he's comic relief times three. <laughs> that dog is just a delight. Yes. Perfectly trained too, right? He's amazing. He's like the second best actor in the whole thing. <laughs> Maybe the best actor. <laughs> it's Dr. Hitler. <laughs> and then it's the dog. Yes. <laughs> if they shared th- that's why they didn't share time on screen together because they're like both like no 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 my, my agent doesn't say we should we should be on the same <laughs> in the same scene together um <laughs> so um yeah so he goes still takes the microwave right and then goes to the tech guy yes who's the nerdiest guy they could find with glasses yes, yes. and he says that somebody actually tampered with the microwave yes and anyone could have done it, even a woman, as we oh, yes. need to point out. Fucking say, and that came out of nowhere. Abs- yeah. Like there was no, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> fucking nineties. If he like it was if- progressive, like the show was really progressive, <laughs> and then they just throw that one sentence in there. <laughs> well, that's a, if the tech guy had just said no, women couldn't have never done this. <laughs> yeah, they, the show would have ended. They would have solved the murder immediately. <laughs> <laughs> because it, yeah, there are only two suspects left. Yeah, <coughs> and he could have yeah, yeah. true true yeah would have been a much w- women, women women always fucking things up, <laughs> <laughs> even in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so bad i shouldn't be laughing about this uh, <laughs> so so he 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 knows that somebody temp really tampered with it yes. and then he confronts the family that is grieving right now yes at the moment and they are not happy about that at all no they they, they do not like all these questions about microwaves whatsoever yes, yes. especially if the two two wives the two wives are especially Yes. Uh, fed up. I guess maybe they that sh- should just show shows their grief, because 
the one fucked him and the other one was married to him. So, so they weren't fucking, but one of them yeah. was definitely fucking him. Yeah. And that's also our next, that was like the next thing, right? Was the, was the second murder. Yeah, they, he asked them if, if it, the microwave has been serviced at all. They said no, brand new microwave. Thus confirming again that it's definitely been tampered with. Yeah. And then his brother says, I must go to the vineyards. <laughs> and yeah. cut to just his wife dead in a car. In the vineyard. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. And two hunters that don't have a line. You don't see their faces. Yeah. They, what are they even doing there? I have no idea. Is, maybe like friends of the producer or something <laughs> like, we want to be in that show. Okay, all right. Yeah. Just be hunters and be in the vineyard. <laughs> I don't like hunting at all, but I bought this hat and I yes. want to get my money's worth. <laughs> yes. Please put me in <laughs> yeah. your TV show. Yeah, exactly. So if he, he finds, he finds, the, 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 the brother finds his wife, yes. the cheating wife, dead, dying from co uh, carbon monoxide yes. poisoning. Yes. And then opens the door and she falls out. Yeah, and he's like, no, basically <laughs> doing like a no thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Helga. Right? Gerda. Gerda. Yeah. yeah. Helga is the, the such, such, like it was Hans, Gerda, Helga. Uh, Hubert. Yeah. Uh, th those are like the four, like, they, they are such cliche names. Yeah. Like, I'm... I know zero Huberts. <laughs> I know two Hans. Uh, maybe one Gerda, but she's like 80. Yeah. And, and, and Helga, also like 80. Yeah, like so the, that's like... In the 90s, having those names is weird. Yeah, that's like Betty in, a, in America. Or yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Like really... Aunt Irma. Yeah. 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 Something <laughs> like that. Wait, Aunt Irma is a metaphor, right? Is it? For Aunt Irma is visiting when you have... You know, no. When you're on the rag? No, it's Flo. Aunt Flo. Aunt Flo, yes. Maybe it's in Britain. Maybe. Maybe. Aunt Irma. I have no idea. Yeah. I've never heard that. In the, the Austrian, one of the Austrian translations, which I find w way better, is uh, the, the Red Indian is visiting. <laughs> wow, is that's racist too. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. <perfect>. <laughs> <laughs> no, that the, also the, the, the Austrians and the Germans had like a huge obsession with American Indians. Really? Yeah. Like in the, especially in the 1880s huh. till i don't know the 1960s or 70s like that was no huge idea. like that was huge especially like uh what's the one where johnny depp plays <laughs> the the indian now like Ugh. a few years back that was a remake yeah the lone ranger yes so the lone ranger is apparently probably a copy of uh manitou which is a book series in Austrian Germany oh. written by a guy who never at that point when he wrote those things never visited the US but his description was so on point that they sold gangbuster and really? then yeah and then they made basically a rip off show of that and that's the lone ranger okay cuz the movie is God awfully inaccurate. Yes. Yes. And completely stupid. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Depp just has a bird on his head. Yeah. And that's the most interesting thing that happens. In well, the... that's the train scene, I guess. But, but otherwise, still, the bird is heavily like... featured in the train scene. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And his name is Toto. Uh, I think Toto. And they Toto. made and they Toto. made and they made the white guy the main the Lone Ranger is the main character in the German version. Yes. It's Manitou who's the main character and old Shatterhand is his sidekick basically oh. and they're blood brothers and that's the whole thing behind that and it's always and Manitou is the uh, the chief of the Apaches I think yeah yeah so yeah the movie is piece of shit yeah the 60s movies from Germany oh, yeah. are amazing they're, yeah. they're really fun yeah I don't know what the hell happened I hope there's some Austrian actor in there because then I'm gonna then I have an excuse to do it on the Ooh, podcast yeah. yeah thinking ahead all right back to the <laughs> <laughs> we're wasting so much time I know. Uh, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so 
<laughs> so the, the, the wife is dead. Yes, very good. Ding dong, the wife is dead. <laughs> um, that's a 1930s reference for you. <laughs> or 40s? No, 30s, right? 1937, what? 36. Is it that old? Yeah, it's like they, they are now close to 70 years. No, it's 80 years of yeah, 80 yeah. years of, of, of uh, uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. I think yeah. it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. The Technicolor. So good. It yeah. looks amazing. I know. Up to this date. Like, I, I watched it's that movie like a year ago yeah. again, and the special effects hold up. Oh, absolutely. Technicolor is amazing. Yeah. They stopped using it completely. I'm so sad about that. Yeah. Well, mm. it's incredibly expensive oh yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 well yeah especially compared to digital which this show also is shot on tape so yeah. it's not it's you you have something sometimes like this tracer effects especially when you have you see it in the show like when they when you have like a hard contrast between light yeah. and dark you have sometimes have this tracer effects yeah and yeah well yeah. but still Pretty well shot yeah. in general. But that's a different point that we're going to go to <laughs> later. Back to the plot. All right, oh, we're plot. so bad All at right. this. Wife dead vineyard. Yes. Uh, they suspect, oh, she took apparently some pills too, but the co uh, carbon monoxide killed her. Yes. So she was inca incapacitated when that whole thing happens, which yes. makes him suspect that it wasn't out of grievance. Yes. Moza is not, not out of grievance that she did it, but out of... Uh, that it was also a murder. Yeah. And she, he goes and confronts the the, the family. Yeah, what's again. left of the family? Yeah. Again. Yeah. And they give him nothing. Yeah. Basically, like yeah. they were like, oh yeah, maybe she was grieving. I don't know. <laughs> could could have been. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah they're basically like, well, prove otherwise, or stop trying to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> If you haven't proved it already, then yeah. you're not allowed to. Yeah. Just <laughs> shh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You take your pretty hair and you get out of, <laughs> yeah. get out of here. Yeah. We have enough problems without people <laughs> who are trying to help us getting involved. Yes, exactly. Go away. Exactly. So um, that happens and Moza has finally the idea of using the dog yes. to sniff out... The the red the residue of the sleeping pills, yes. which finally after training montage basically, yes, they had <laughs> apparently someone else trained the dog at some point. Yeah, to be and a drug. Like off. that that dog is amazing. Yes, he can fetch uh, like like rolls. He can he can he's just a perfect dog. Yes. Yeah. So and someone trained the dog, yeah. sent him off to this guy who doesn't know anything the dog knows. Right. So they had to go back, and they, were, they weren't really training the dog. They were training him to tell the dog how to find sleeping pills. Yes. Because he has no idea how this dog works. <laughs> Where's the on-off switch? I don't know how this dog works. Where's the manual? God damn it. <laughs> He knows how his hair dryer works, and that seems to be <laughs> most of his guts. <laughs> or, and apply mousse, I yes. guess. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, he doesn't even know how to shave. Maybe that's, that's true. what was on his face. He's yeah. like, maybe if I put mousse on my face, it'll get nice. <laughs> even nicer. Yes. Yeah. Gives it that shine that I want. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So the dog finds the residue yes. in Hubert's pocket, yes. who's an idiot apparently, yes. who doesn't even know how to get rid of evidence. And uh, yeah, just wear a jacket with your name embroidered in the back. Yeah, and, have, and have the evidence in the pocket. Yes. I, uh, yeah, and I, keep the jacket in, yes. the, in the restaurant. Yeah, and Do not dispose of anything. Exactly. <laughs> and they find out that uh, the wife and Hubert went on, to, uh, on a drive. Yes. To the north of, like that's, I guess back, especially back then, that's maybe like a ten or fifteen minute drive yeah. from from the place like where the tavern is yeah. to the bridge. That's maybe a 10, 15 minute drive. Okay. So they are there like like this, and just in the nick of time, <laughs> where he he confesses that he killed 
Like yeah. he confesses to to the to the to the to widow the, yes. that he killed both of them yes. and that he did it because he was jealous all over those all those years he, yes. it just bubbled up and then he just decided ah fuck it I'm gonna k just kill them yes because he is the best yes and she is greedy that's that's his rationale to tell her yes like she was happy too that they died yes that was maybe. Yeah, I yeah. guess that was and his. And she and he try and apparently she, he has a crush on her too because he tries to rape her. I don't know what that was. She said she's going to the police. And they both had panic eyes while they yes. were kissing. Like they were not into it, both yeah. of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was trying. He was hoping that she'd be upset by it, and she was. Yeah. And it was just weird, closed teeth. Yes. Kissing, and then. He reaches under her skirt and flips her over a bridge. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're gonna finger blast her. Nope, you're no. gonna just water blast her <laughs> by, by throwing her in. Now into, she's wet. Yeah, four by, by throwing her into the Danube. Yes, that's 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 it. And and then we have an amazing scene where Stocky, the 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 colleague of of of, of Moser, arrests. The guy in the most unspectacular fashion ever, just yeah. like boom, here's the handcuffs, boom, onto the onto the railing of the bridge. Yes. Done. Yeah. We don't see him ever again. Nope. Not even the classic, like bending his head to get him into the police car. Nothing nope. of that. And but we get a, a chase scene. Yes. Where where the because she fell two feet into the river. Yes. So she was fine, although she can't swim in what is like we have way way higher bridges in Vienna yeah. like that's one of the lowest <laughs> hanging bridges in Vienna yes it's hilarious how, <laughs> how, how like apparently uh, maybe they didn't have like the money for a stunt uh, uh, like a like a uh, <laughs> stunt double like a stunt double and they were like yeah just throw her from that bridge yeah <laughs> it's, easier. <did. laughs> it's easier it's easier also there's no basically no traffic on that one yeah. so I guess blocking it off for filming was easier too yeah I think that was just being being rational yeah that's why they chose that one yeah but she, she falls down apparently she can't swim no not she at drowns all. in a weird fashion yes she gives up on trying to swim after again the, the danube the stream is not that not yeah. that not that bad like i crossed the danube as a kid yeah swimming like when i was 10, well she wasn't 10. so much swimming as just panicking acting yeah, Dancing, well, yeah, just bad, waving, just waving, bad, just waving, bad, just lots bad, of waving. just bad, <laughs> just bad. It was sad to to look at it. Yes. And she, um, yeah, she she gets rescued first by the dog. Yes. Because Moser is all looks, and he apparently can't swim. Well, he didn't even bother to take his jacket off before he jumped in the river after her. Yeah, but his hair was flowing so nicely uh, while yeah, he was his hair right, looked great. Because he did, they did a slow motion they scene did. while he was diving in. I think they spent all the money they could have spent <laughs> on finding a stunt double on, on that scene. a slow motion shot of him jumping in and the, the, the tracking tr shot. Tracking the dog yeah. running what was probably a mile, but actually yeah. only needed to go about three feet. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog actually does does help more and yes gets her out of like and he gets the dramatic mm, damsel in distress moment where he he's gets, carrying her out and yeah. she gives him the bang eyes yeah. and he gives her the bang eyes yeah but now they didn't even, that's it yeah. that that's it and then we get a conclusion at the end where they re-explain yeah. how he murdered like we already get it like they, they explain <laughs> it like three times already <laughs> and then they explain it again at the sausage stand yes and then you have your comedic final moment where the dog eats stocky's uh sausage yes and they exp and he's like don't you keep your dog on a leash or something yeah. like that and he's like Mose is like no no he's all, it's his off time he yeah. can do whatever he wants yeah. like he's a an actual human being <laughs> because he's talking to the fucking dog all the time and yeah. the dog is kind of he's not talking back but his actions speak for itself yes yeah that dog is absurdly smart yes yeah so <laughs> and then so so that's the plot i guess i guess yes yeah so we can finally move on. <laughs>
to something more, yeah. more, more, more. This more. is why I, I took notes, but none of them make any sense. <laughs> this is perfect. That's how, that's how we want to do this. Okay, good. So <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to the next thing, and that's going to be music. Yeah. They had very... Should we do this in order? Uh, sure. Okay. Go, go ahead. Well, I, the, the only one I really noticed was the uh, near the end when they found out that Hubert yeah. had the sleeping... It's just X-Files music immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. Like yeah. the dra dramatic swelling music. Like yeah. The like yeah. somebody's on an electric organ yeah. and just hits two notes and that's it. Yeah. And then after 10 seconds changes one deeper note or something yes. like that. That's, that's basically 80% of this. <laughs> then 20% is comic relief music yes. and the title, title music, which is a weird mesh, mashup of Austrian classical music and some weird electro yeah. pop thing. Yeah, but they have the English version um, that we watched, right? No, no, that's that's the German version. Really? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. The theme song? Yeah. Okay. They, Austrians love English. Like, Falco did a lot of stuff in English as well. And, yeah, that's uh, the only guy God. That's the only guy that made it. To, to, <laughs> like, the only Austrian musician that's that really, really made it in the, in, Falco, in the U.S. Falco, Czech. That's uh, it. Yeah, we, we don't need any more. Uh, yeah. He was amazing, you know. So. Exactly. Yeah. We didn't need any more. Yeah, yeah. We if already we have, did our best. If we had the dog <laughs> with, with Falco, the hair yeah, and singing Falco. Falco. Oh, <laughs> because Falco was still alive at that point. Yeah. So they could have maybe there's an a future episode where where, <laughs> where Falco shows up. That was where, where, wow. Ooh. I have to check that. Yeah, um, you do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So music, awesome. Yes. Very serviceable. Yes. Hit all the right spots. Yes. Was entertaining. Yes. Like, okay, I'm I'm cynical, so <laughs> I laughed at the suspense music too. Yes. Especially because it ages <laughs> very poorly. Yes. I don't know if the music or the overacting. Yes, the overacting was worse. <laughs> The combination is a killer, though. Oh, it's yeah. It's a killer combo. I wonder if they, like, uh, the director was like, pretend there is overly intense music playing and then yes. stare at her. Yes, yes. Go. Yeah, be <laughs> William Shatner. Yes. <laughs> we're, we ha we're not going to play any music, so you got to overact. I yeah. promise. Gonna be, be no be, music. <laughs> be William Shatner that fucks Nicolas Cage. <laughs> then, then you get, like, the level of overacting. <laughs> So yeah, music, Good. it's it's all right. Yeah. You can you can. It's not like a soundtrack that you could buy, but I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> might be, there might be a soundtrack somewhere. Really? There might be like on a cassette tape or something. All right. Or or maybe already on a CD. Yeah, I have to look that up. That or there are definitely audio versions of the cases. Yeah. Like for listening in the car. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was a thing back then. Oh my to god! To make out of TV, to to make audio versions of TV shows and really? movies. Yeah, like I had, I had a uh, Toy Story on cassette <laughs> tape. I had Benjamin Blümchen, which was like an elephant that had shenan did shenanigans in a town <laughs> on cassette tape. That is the worst description of a show I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's a kids show. Kids, okay, kids, that kids, makes kids, more kids sense. animated show. That could have been an elephant trampling a town. <laughs> yeah, <he's> <laughs> murdering <laughs> scores of people. No, the elephant is loose. <laughs> also, his name is Benjamin Little Flower. That was would have been his tr literal translation. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> All right, so we <laughs> music done. Now we're co we're coming to like some some more more where you have to think more about ah, the whole I hate, thing. I hate it, thinking. You hate thinking. Yes. Uh, typical American. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I'm alienating like thirty percent of my listenership right now. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go on to the next point, and that's best moments. Best moments. There's so many. Yeah, right? Such a good show. I don't know. It's, 
it may have just been because it was at the beginning of the show, but I don't know if anything can top Rex coming out of the bakery with three rolls. Yeah, in a bag. Yeah. Yeah, carrying it to his to his uh shaving his owner. Shaving yeah. owner. Yeah, to, to Moser. Yeah, that one was pretty great, I yeah. guess. The Hitler reveal was also pretty The Hitler pretty Doctor Hitler was good. Yeah. The I mean, the thing with the bread was almost a Tarantino-esque long shot. They it was. followed him all the actual way. Back yeah, to the through Vienna, and yeah. the dog stops at the crosswalk, yes. waits for the car to pass and everything. Like, he's yeah. amazing. This, yeah, yeah, very, like, he's uh, uh, pedestrian safety yes. is, like, a real concern for that dog. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's a really good scene. So you're going to pick that? As a best scene? Uh, yeah, I, I think yeah? I, 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 yep, yep. Yeah, I okay. Yeah. Um, There's some other good ones. Yeah, I'm, 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 going, I'm going the contrary and going for the last scene uh, where they do the freeze frame Yeah. while he's like attacking, like attacking the sausage yes. of Moser after yeah. he already ate the one from Stocky. Yes. He eats the other, like he tries to eat the other one and like uh, uh, Tobias Moretti is really laughing. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then they do a freeze frame. Yes. I love that. That, that was, was really amazing. Good. That was, that was really good. <laughs> I, 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 I found that very, because I love freeze frames anyways, oh, yeah. because there's such a hack Yes. thing to do yes. but in a show that is already this weird oh, yeah, what else and this 90s do? this is really 90s though yes. this is amazingly 90s the yeah. whole show and yeah it's or I guess dog vision the oh, dog yeah, vision the scene dog cam was... yeah that one was a pretty amazing too yeah. just from a cinematography standpoint yes because they they did like an like the from the perspective of the dog yes while he searched for the, the sleeping pills yes which involved a lot of tablecloths <laughs> that he was running through yeah yeah there was so many tablecloths i the, know i think where, they, where did they i think <laughs> they just done ones. laundry yeah. i don't know but there was a lot of lace tablecloths <laughs> like the, the the scene decorator like he's like i'm not finished yet guys come on <laughs> no we, we paid you just leave <laughs> But I have all these tablecloths. <laughs> yes, I just want to use them. No, <laughs> go away. I knitted them myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I spent like 300 hours on those. <laughs> Damn it. And now the dog is ruining them. Yeah, so that one is pretty good too. But I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with the freeze frame. Yeah. That, that one was pretty, pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. So, so definitely nothing with humans. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck the humans. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's all. It's the. It's the, the, the show's name is Inspector Rex. It's all about the fucking dog. The dog has a higher, like his. his so being an inspector is like like a like a. Um, I guess the guys from. Uh, what, what would be um, uh, from Law and Order? Yeah. Like that's the uh, level. Detective. Yeah, like yeah. detective. That's the level that the dog <laughs> has. That dog is a detective. Yes. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Commissar Rex. <laughs> he's, he's, he, yeah, it's all about him. I would love if they did. Like he got first billing, basically. Like yeah. Tobias Moretti at that point was already kind of famous. Yeah. <laughs> but he got <laughs> he got really famous with that show. Okay. But still, he got th they never changed like Commissar Rex and Tobias Moretti. <laughs> nope, always the fucking dog first. <laughs> I guess the dog was cheaper. Yeah. To 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 hire and everything. Maybe but maybe I don't know. maybe. Yeah. So great scenes. Yes. Let's go on to the to to the to the uh, uh, the next one. Ooh. There, there are two two things that I want to do, but I'm not sure in which order. Uh, yeah, I'm going I'm going for this, and that's best overacting scene. Uh, I gotta go with the microwave. <laughs> the uh, microwave flirting scene. Yes, that one was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. She looked like she was having sex with that microwave and... <laughs> and him. And him yeah. at the same time. That yeah. was... 
some real steamy <laughs> steamy uh, microwave action. Yes. Yes. I mean, a microwave killed her husband, and she still cannot stop trying to fuck it and <laughs> him. <laughs> She's just in love how convenient it is. Yeah. Like, oh my god, you just push a button and it comes out warm. And my husband's dead. <laughs> it's so Jackpot! It's done everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me, it, it is the, the crazy eyes that yeah. they, 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 at the end, at the bridge. Oh, yeah, that... That was just that was so crazy. Yeah. Like his eyes was nearly popping out, <laughs> out of his skull. Yeah. Especially because he was like the really silent, yeah. um, like the, the beta male kind yeah. of type. And like, nah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm sad all the time. <laughs> I don't know, I'm doing crowd right now. <laughs> it's not easy being Austrian. <laughs> 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 Alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> Die. Um, <laughs> so that that scene that scene killed it for me. Like yeah. That, that was, but the microwave scene. Yes. They. We should just use that as a gif. Yes. In a loop, them them yeah. both staring into each other's eyes. Yes. Constantly. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put it on YouTube with like an underlaid with like uh, this jazzy sex music. <laughs> like, boom, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I, I'll watch it. <laughs> no, mm, no one know. else will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one view. <laughs> but <laughs> 500 repeats. Yes, <laughs> 500 views, one like. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> so, so yeah, okay. Best overacting scene. Yep. We have we've done that. Yes. All right. So um. Yes. Let's go to a last section and that one is always uh that's that's a mainstay of the podcast okay and that is final conclusion <laughs> you like that huh i do okay i like when you use your real fake accent <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> it has been a pleasure yeah <laughs> i love my voice when i do this <laughs> This is amazing. You should use it in the bedroom often. You should. Yes. And next, my penis now. <laughs> I want to feel like an Austrian 38 really wanted. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that's, 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 a, that's a weird crossover. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I guess there is a fetish for that, probably. It's the internet. There is a fetish like for, for everything. everything. That's true. That's true. Everything. So, yeah, final conclusion. Would you recommend this TV show to somebody else? I'd recommend this TV show to everybody else. Wholeheartedly? Yes. Yeah. And would you, will you continue to watch it? Like, Definitely. It is on YouTube as a, like, as a rip. Yes. With, as, as with halfway it. decent yeah. English subtitles. So people just maybe buy the DVD. Maybe they, maybe they will do a revival or I, something. I that would be amazing. If it plays in my DVD player here. Right, region locks. Yeah. Ah, fuck that shit. I know. Well, but it got syndicated in so many countries. That's true. That it probably will. There's yeah. either a region free one or. Yeah, I almost never uh, pirate anything. Yeah. You know. Just, you know, Unless support I, the. Yes. The, the real people. Yeah. But if, if you people it. don't find it, just go to YouTube and yeah. type in the name. It's going to pop up. Yeah. If I can't buy it from the people who made it, then I don't. Yeah. Then fuck those guys. Exactly. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't offer it to me, then yeah. yeah. But you don't want to make money. Fine. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But yes, you will continue to watch yes. it. You will rec would recommend it to anybody. It's perfect because I've been trying to learn German and this is a perfect experience. Oh yes, that's a true thing because they their Austrian accent is very de uh, like very subtle. Yeah. Like they they use a lot of not a lot of jar jargon. Yeah. It's mostly it seemed pretty mostly simple. mostly mostly because I guess they are also produced it with the mind in, in like kept in mind that it will be aired in Switzerland and in, in, yeah. in, in Germany. Yeah. So that's how Austrian TV shows break into those markets by ah. not being that crazy about using yeah. dialect. Yeah. Yeah. Because they are all Viennese. They should have really thick accents. Yeah. 
but he is kind of a yuppie. So yes, I guess Stocky and his other the fat colleague that <laughs> never that shows up like what twice in the show. I guess he's just always sitting there. Yeah, and doing nothing. Like yeah. he he's he's the perfect embodiment of a real Austrian <laughs> cop, just <laughs> sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> Because there's no crime. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's a lot of crime. Um, no, there isn't. It's all white collar. <laughs> all right. we, we like to steal money from each other, but we don't like to kill each other. That's too, too, too much work. Too much work. I'll come visit them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would love to have you on the podcast again in yes. Austria. That would be amazing. That would, uh, would be a very special episode. Yay! Yeah. So <laughs> definitely recommend it. Yes. Watch that show. Yes. Um, subscribe to my channel. Do your plugs now. I don't really. Where, have... where can people find you? Uh, Do you have a Twitter? I have a Twitter. I spell my name terribly. So I'm going to put it in the description. But yes. just give it to us. Well, I had a lot of friends who spelled their names with two eyes because they had Ma Mandy, Beca Andy. Because somebody else already picked up the, the thing, the no, original I, Twitter I handle. Just, I just had friends who did that when I was younger. Oh. I, didn't, I, didn't have a, I didn't have a name with a Y at the end, so I was like, fuck you, I'm going to put two eyes in my name. Right. So I spell Andrea, A N D R I I Y A to be a jackass. Right. So I am at Andrea on Andrea. Twitter. Andrea. Yes. Okay. And also, if anyone is in Boston, come to the comedy studio. Great stuff. I've uh, been there twice now. It's amazing. It is amazing. They burned me so hard. <laughs> But it's fair because yeah. because I'm Austrian and it's, I'm such an easy target. Yeah. Well, we did have someone who did a history uh, major. Buff. Yeah. Yes. A history buff who, uh, who also was from had some time in Germany. Two exchange years in Germany. Yeah. So he was yes. perfect for that. Yes. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah. go to the comedy studio. Especially on Thursdays. Thursdays is great. The Studio Studio Show, which yeah. is uh, completely crazy yeah, it and is. a lot more fun than you're going to have staying and at home. And take, get the scorpion ball. Yes. You ran out of plastic animals. Oh, I didn't, we always have extra. You should have, if they're out of plastic animals, Rick keeps more in the back. Oh, because I, I asked her and she was like, no, we're Oh, we're she out. doesn't, but Rick keeps. Oh, you have a secret yes, plastic we, animal stash. We do. Ah, uh, that's, that's how the bread slices Yes, here. yes. That's not an expression. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> yeah, that's how Putting the... plastic animals in a bowl full of pink alcohol isn't a thing either, yeah. <laughs> but we do it. it. <laughs> and it's amazing. Yes. Yes, and that thing got me properly fucked up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so watch the TV show, subscribe to my channel, uh, drop me maybe a, a, a comment or a, a, a review on iTunes. And um, yeah, we're going to see each other next time on FFPU. Bye. Bye.